Dalia Mujahid recently posted this. She said, we look at beauty and we think it's, it's, it's rare. It's not. It's commonplace. The dua, when you look into a mirror, mirror of like, Ya Allah, the same way that you've beautified my outer, beautify my inner. I'm already saying, Ya Allah, you've made me beautiful on the outside. And if you're insulting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation, who are you insulting? Also, a lot of our beauty standards in our own community are based on white supremacist ideals. I get into this argument so much with Egyptian women, they're like, curly hair is ugly. I'm like, we're North African. Most of us have curly hair. At what point did you decide this was ugly? And they're like, what's your problem? I'm like, I have a problem. When our colonizer says, I am beautiful, and you are not, and you say yes. They came around and took down cities that were far more civilized than them and called them savages. The tragedy is when we believe we're actually savages. This isn't us going back. When I'm fighting for women's rights, I had a, I actually recently broke up with my therapist not to find a new one. <laughs> but because I was telling her, I'm like, I really care about women's rights. She's like, you clearly have progressive values. I'm like, no, I have very traditional values, like specifically 1,400 years old. <laughs> they are very traditional. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> no, but this is true across the board. Women all over the world are using this like bleach junk on their, like you're actually putting chemicals on your faces that harm you to look like you're oppressor? Why? And I'm not saying this of like, oh, white women aren't beautiful. Every woman's beautiful. White, black, and every shade in between. Again, who are you insulting? Are we really going to go around insulting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beauty and his creation? Well, ayyadu billah, us showing up as educated, empowered Muslim women, this isn't just for us. This is to bring justice to everyone that is around us. It is to challenge the entire system that said your value is based on white supremacy. It is not a coincidence when you are going to depict well, I have to I know that Isa alayhi salam didn't have blonde hair and white eye, blue eyes. He didn't. But we're going to depict divinity as a white man. That's not a coincidence. And it's an abuse of, a tr of Christianity.